State environmental officials are reviewing a program that protects endangered and threatened wildlife around the state. Environmentalists are concerned that changes could undercut protections. Environment correspondent Ed Rogers has more in tonight's environment report. It's a sure sign of spring. Painted turtles like this one are beginning to emerge. Large water bodies they like, but if there's a lot of basking sites, logs, rocks for them to sit on. They're abundant in the state. New Jersey has a program in place to find and list wildlife that isn't doing as well. It's called the Landscape Project. When a bobcat, a pine snake, or some other endangered or threatened species is discovered in an area, the data is compiled on an online map. That information is now used to help determine whether various state and local permits can be issued for construction projects. On any given night and any given municipal meeting, when a developer presents an application to a planning board, one of the first things the planning board does is say, have you checked the landscape project? Have you checked to see if you have any threatened or endangered species on your property? And if you do, then what are you doing to protect that species? But business groups are concerned that the landscape project may be playing too large a role in land use decisions. If a, a business is going to invest in a, in a parcel of land and there's proper studies done and such, and then all of a sudden everything comes to a screeching halt because uh, there wasn't uh, complete data on, on the property as to endangered species and such, then they have to move somewhere else. The state DEP has assembled a stakeholder group made up of representatives from the regulated environmental and academic fields to review the landscape program. State DEP Commissioner Bob Martin says he believes the landscape project should remain part of the decision-making process on land use permits, but also says there are gaps in data. What we're trying to do right now is we're trying to reevaluate uh, that tool along with a lot of other tools that we have here at the DEP and see how those tools fit in our regulatory and permitting process. A Christie Transition Team subcommittee report called for suspending the landscape project, saying it restricts development in areas where endangered wildlife were thought to exist. Environmentalists are concerned. The rug would be pulled out from under threatened and endangered species protection in New Jersey. There are thousands of species that disappear on our planet every year. There are more than 70 species in New Jersey alone that are threatened from extinction, or threatened by extinction. And the landscape project really helps us define where we should grow and where we shouldn't grow. It's the basis for planning in New Jersey for species protection. Larry Niles, the former head of the State Endangered Species Program, created the landscape project and says it's reliable. The landscape map just simply says this is what's, uh, what, what is the best estimate of, of what's the habitat. Now, if you take away the landscape map, you still have that problem. Niles believes more regulatory flexibility is what is really needed. The benefit of the map is that it's been peer-reviewed and uh, it's actually been court tested so that, you know, we've already, the, the data species program is going through uh, administrative law court to defend the map and successfully. Commissioner Martin says he wants more accuracy and predictability. What I want to make sure is that the, the tool has all the correct information and it's used properly. Uh, if not, we'll find another tool that we can use uh, that we're able to regulate with, uh, especially making decisions on permits. A list of potential changes could come by late summer or early fall. Ed Rogers, NJN News, Trenton.